That's Julia. Hey! Sorry I'm late! I'm so late! Hello, lady! This is Julia. I've, I've talked before. We're now going to the Xiaomi flagship store. I'll hands on the Redmi 5 and Redmi 5 Plus. This flagship store is the first and the biggest in China for Xiaomi. I hope it's good. This is the breakfast spot for me. Thank you! Oh yeah! Did you see the big and me logo here? That's the flagship store of Xiaomi. So what Julia holding now is Redmi 5 Plus and uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the design and later we'll run the anti to benchmark and also the gaming test. What's most important is we're gonna compare with Redmi Note 4X. Here we go. Hi. <laughs> this is the 5.99 inch screen. When you hand hold it, I guess uh, it's not that really big. Uh, Julia, how about you? Is it okay? Is the hand feel okay or is it too big for you? Too big for me. Yeah, it's just good anyway. You have to notice that the bottom is not Type C, it's, it's micro USB. And on the one side is we got the power key and the volume key. On top we got the headphone jack, which is great. Which is great because many manufacturers have took off the uh, headphone jack and on this set is the, the SIM card slot. The single tone flash and the 12 megapixel camera and this is the fingerprint about the phone. The device. So this is the specs for the, for the Redmi 5 Plus. So as you can see, uh, Julia just died in the game and uh, she blames to the Wi-Fi connection. Julia, I'm, I'm gonna service out your gaming skills, but she's a really good gamer. Each time when we do reviews about the phones, she will play the glory of the king. She's pretty good. So I'm gonna interview Julia. She is gonna be pretty honest in me. Julia, how about the gaming experience on this Redmi 5 Plus? This is not that smooth as smooth as OnePlus 5T. Of course it's not. Uh, this is Snapdragon 625 and that one is Snapdragon 835. Huge difference. The responsiveness and the touch on the Redmi 5 Plus is good. Is it warm? It's actually, it's warm. It's hot, I mean, it's hot. As hot as Julia. Thank you, Julia. And at last, we are gonna test the camera performance of Julia. Julia likes taking selfie, you know. Uh, this is 5 megapixel camera with the soft toned selfie light. Have different theaters and uh, I like this yeah. Let's see, but can't Yeah, just open here, and this is oh, this is self tone the selfie light. Julia is gonna like it. <laughs> I really like the camera. I mean. <laughs> What the hell? I mean, the camera performance is not gonna be bad, and uh, and it's it's pretty funny. <laughs> the mosaic. Just now, we are trying to figure out how to have this bouquet effect, but uh, the staff told us here that we don't have. Mm. It's clear, of course. Oh, we can take 20 continuous photos. Okay. Collapse and slow motion, you can see that. 
Fox mode. Type and C A F. And just two lines. Maybe quality. Oh, it is supports 4K. It supports 4K. That that's uh, beyond my expectation. That's okay. As a lot of you guys have asked that we should compare the Redmi 5 Plus with the Redmi Note 4X. So that's it. First of all, I'd like to run the Android benchmark. So this one is a little bit better. So let's compare the screen. This screen, this one, I think it's more comfortable. Ah, yes. 屏幕的窄边嘛这是Redmi5Plus,another one,another pink line,champagne this is Note 5A, hey, this is the Note 5 Plus. So you can see, you can see the screen is different. This looks much comfortable. This one. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. This feels more smooth. Yeah, High five. Thank you so much for watching this video and please stay subscribed. As always, I'll bring you the first hands on information of Xiaomi stuff and I will do a lot of stuff about Xiaomi as I really love it, you know. <laughs>